Houston, home court advantage is a fickle friend. After six months of elite play, of the Houston Rockets dominating to such a degree that they forced the defending champion, Golden State Warriors to come to their house at the start of these Western Conference Finals. It's gone already. The Warriors, who started a playoff series on the road for the first time since hiring Steve Kerr as head coach back in 2014, stole Game 1. 119-106 at the Toyota Center on Monday. It's not over, of course. Not by a long shot. But the odds which were already in the Warriors' favor if only because of their championship pedigree, are even tougher now. According to the Elias Sports Bureau, teams that win Game 1 of a conference finals on the road go on to win the series 70.3% of the time, 26-11. Here's how it happened, 1. Durant v. Harden It still boggles the basketball mind that James Harden and Kevin Durant, not to mention Russell Westbrook once seemed destined to spend their entire careers on the same side. But those Oklahoma City Thunder days are long since gone, and scoring slugfests against one another are now a regular affair. And this time, both stars nearly put the other team on the mat all by themselves. Durant's 37 points was a thing of beauty, as he hit 14 of 27 shots like only he can. It didn't matter who the Rockets threw his way, Chris Paul. B.J. Tucker, Harden, big man Clint Capella. Durant buried a bevy of those unreachable step-back jumpers. Hit three of six three-pointers and generally carried the Warriors on a night when they couldn't afford for him to slow down. He had more help than Harden, though. Harden was sensational as well, finishing with 41 points on 14 of 24 shooting. But he had just seven assists meaning the Houston offense that was second in offensive rating during the regular season behind the Warriors wasn't at full force. Only Harden, Paul, 23 points, 3 assists, 6th man Eric Gordon, 15 points, and Capella, 12 points, scored in double figures. Warriors guard Clay Thompson had 28 points, hitting 6 of 15 from beyond the arc. Steph Curry had 18 points, 8 of 15 shooting. 1 of 5 from 3, 8 assists and 6 rebounds. 2. Flipping the switch, you know how you slow down a two time MVP who returned from a five week knee injury absence just four games ago? Make his life miserable on the defensive end. The Rockets did just that from beginning to end. Setting high screens to force Curry to switch and pitting him against the man who Rockets coach Mike D'Antoni has called the best defensive player he has ever seen. Yet while Curry got cooked plenty of times, he picked the perfect times to pick Harden's pocket. Midway through the third quarter, Harden missed a floater after blowing by Curry that was followed by a Thompson three. The swing continued from there, with Curry poking the ball free at midcourt and beating him to it on the scramble. He found Andre Iguodala for a soaring dunk on the break, and a Warriors lead that should have been cut to one just 32 seconds before it was back to eight. He did it again midway through the fourth, sparking another break and finding Iguodala yet again. He missed one of two free throws after being fouled by P.J. Tucker, and the Warriors pushed their lead to 103-93.3. Swaggy 3 and the award for least likely X-Factor in this series goes to, Nick Young. The enigmatic guard known as Swaggy P has had a disappointing debut season with the Warriors but he picked quite a time to find his shooting stroke. After hitting just five three-pointers in Golden State's first ten playoff games, he buried three of five from beyond the arc in the first half that ended with a 56-56 tie. Truth be told, there were signs that Young could play a pivotal part in this matchup. Young, who shot 37.7% from beyond the arc during the regular season, had hit 13 of 21 threes in games against the Rockets this season. The Rockets' role players, meanwhile, struggled in a major way. Forward Luke Baamute had a disastrous opener. He missed several wide-open layups and went 0 for 6 overall. Tucker, whose three-point shooting has been key for Houston all season, had just one point and missed both of his threes.